Thank you for taking the time to join us today. My name is Tom Lesh. I'm one of the regional sales managers here at Sierra 100. Today we're going to take a little bit of time to uh, cover our HM, or what we call our hybrid mill series machine, and how this machine might be able to help you and your company be more profitable in your manufacturing through accurate, high speed, high RPM machining of aluminum and composite materials. Uh, today we'll give over, I'll do a quick overview of what we're going to go over today. Uh, we'll do a little bit of a brief history of CR Android, where we came from, who we are today, and uh, maybe even a few of the other models that we offer. Um, we'll also dive deep into the hybrid mill and give you some examples of how this machine has helped our clients save money in their parts manufacturing. Uh, we'll cover some of the features and options that are available on the HM, and we'll discuss one of our twin spindle twin table options, which we call dual process, and how it might significantly improve your throughput. And finally, we'll wrap things up with a Q&A and maybe a couple videos at the end. A uh, little bit of history about Sierra Andrud. Uh, the Andrud family started building machines in 1915 in the Chicago area, and through both world wars, Andrud offered machines that built aluminum wing spars, that built uh, M1 Garand rifles, we even had a special machine that made a lap joint for making a, a boat called the Higgins Boat, which was a craft that landed many of the troops on the beaches during World War II. Today here at Sierra Andrew in Troutman, North Carolina, we have about 190 employees, uh, 155,000 square feet total of manufacturing space uh, in two different buildings. In one building, we do all of our uh, cutting of the steel and fabrication, and in the other building, the main assembly building where I'm at, we do the stress relieving, uh, machining, final assembly, paint, quality control, testing, and uh, ship the machines out the door. Uh, over the years, our specialties become building tailor-made CNC and automation solutions for our clients to help meet their uh, automation goals. And we focus on using high quality components and providing unparalleled support and service to our clients. So before we get into the HM series, I want to spend a couple of minutes showing you some of the other models and capabilities that our machines have here at Sierra Andrew. For example, we offer a machine called the high rail machine. This is a machine that has seven feet, even up to 10 feet of Z, and common customers of ours with this model are companies that are manufacturing rocket and space components. Uh, we have uh, both ground and air transportation manufacturers for commercial and military aircraft, uh, home and SIPS components, and even large foundry shops have purchased this machine to do their larger foundry patterns. Another machine that's really popular here is our 5-axis cube machine. This machine is used primarily for trimming com uh, composite and plastic components in light machining of aluminum. Uh, you'll see some examples of uh, some plastic chairs for buses that we have a client that cuts on these and uh, a couple job shops have our machines that do a lot of uh, carbon fiber composite work on it. Another popular model we have here is a compact high rail machine. Uh, this machine is used primarily for aerospace customers, again, tra transportation and space. We even have a client that's using this model to machine components for hypersonic missiles. And we also have uh, an attack helicopter manufacturer using this machine for cutting components for their, for their aircraft. Uh, we also offer a machine called the G-Series. Now, the G-Series is really designed for flat or panel work. Here's an example of a, of a larger one that we built. It's got a 10-foot wide by 69-foot long work table. Uh, two gantries can work on the material at the same time. And this particular customer is cutting 6-inch thick friction stir welded aluminum plates for naval ships. And we actually have even built machines larger than that. Another machine that we produce a lot of here is what's called the E-Series machine. It's offered in three and five axis. We can do up to six spindles, uh, multiple tables, uh, commonly used in foundry patterns. We have a client that has a number of these machines with robot cells, um, putting aluminum plates on to cut battery trays for electric vehicles. Finally, uh, I want to review the X-Series and EX-Series machine that we manufacture here. Uh, this is a popular machine for cutting aluminum extrusions uh, for electric vehicles, for trailer manufacturing, 
um, boat lift manufacturer. Now we're going to get into the HM series machine, the machine you guys came here for. Uh, typical clients of this machine are commercial and military aerospace. Uh, we have a lot of clients that build satellite and space components with this machine. Uh, military, Department of Defense, uh, pattern shops. Uh, we get a lot of job shops that buy these types of equipment. Uh, electric bus or electric vehicle and bus as well as marine. And without further ado, I am going to share with you a video that my colleague Ken Stissel put together on the new HM series machine five axis twin table. Uh, please enjoy and when you come back, I'll share with you some of the options and some of the features of the HM series. <music> I'm Ken Stissel with CR Anjoud here at our factory in North Carolina and today we're going to give you a closer look at our HM series high speed aluminum cutting machining center. If your business cuts large aluminum parts for the aerospace industry, defense industry, or even as a high production job shop, then you're going to want to learn more about this machine. The American made HM series machine was designed for one thing, to cut aluminum fast. Let's take a closer look at the key features that sets this machine apart from the rest when it comes to large format aluminum cutting. Well, the first thing to notice is it's big. It's a fixed bridge moving table design with twin six foot by six foot tables. The twin table design allows you to do op one and op two without fixture changeover, therefore increasing your productivity. You can also synchronize both tables together to give you the full 12 foot by six foot capacity. Here we've got 40 inches of Z, which accommodates your large parts and fixtures. We use roller rail on all axes for high speed performance and rigidity. For high tolerance and precision applications, we can install linear scales on all axes and set up volumetric compensation. The two axis head gives you full five axis capability and each axis in the head has an encoder for positional accuracy. The rotary axis has plus 260, minus 260, giving you 520 degrees of full rotation. The tilt axis has 100 degrees of tilt in either direction. Now, in order to do high speed cutting, you need a high RPM spindle. Our standard 15 horsepower spindle has 24,000 RPM, and we can go up to 24 horsepower, 33 horsepower, all the way up to the 75 horsepower beast giving you maximum material removal rates and a competitive edge. All right, now in order to keep up with the amount of chips this thing produces, we had to put seven augers in the base, all feeding into a high capacity front chip conveyor. As far as coolant, this machine here has a 350 gallon system filtered down to 10 microns with 400 PSI through the tool capacity. We also have flood coolant and a perimeter wash down system to keep those chips flowing. We do have other options when it comes to tool lubrication and coolant depending on your application. Now let's go check out some more features of this machine. And here we have Fanuc's latest generation in controls, the Panel IH Pro. Plenty of speed, plenty of memory for high speed cutting and for your large programs. Fanuc gives our customers the peace of mind when it comes to reliability and longevity. We also have our very own user-friendly interface, which makes it very simple and convenient for operators to use. We have several tool setter and probing options. For tool setters, we can use just the traditional plunger style, which measures length. We also have options for length and diameter. We can install a variety of probes for parts and fixture locating. We even have some customers that are doing part inspection right on their machines. I'm here at our standard 24 position tool changer. We can actually add a second 24 position tool changer to the other side, doubling your capacity. We also have options for 30, 60, 90, and 120 position tool changers for either side. 
All right, now I'm over at the other side of the machine. As I mentioned, we could add a second tool changer right here, which gives you more tool capacity. It also allows us to add a second head, giving you two spindles to cut parts with. With our dual process technology, you can actually cut two completely different parts at the same time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this HM series walkthrough. We barely scratched the surface when it comes to the options and capabilities of this machine. Not to mention how affordable it is compared to other brands with similar capacity. If you do want to learn more, please reach out to us at info at cronsrud.com. Thanks for your time. Now that you've seen an overview of the HM series, let's take a little bit of time to dive deeper into some of the features and options available on this machine and how CR Android can work with you to tailor the best machine solution for your company. Let's start by talking about the tables. Uh, as we've mentioned, the with the twin table design, you can use the two six foot by six foot tables independently, allowing you to machine completely different parts on each table. Or maybe you wanna use one table for op one and the other table for OP2, preventing, you the need, uh, preventing the need for you to change out any fixtures. Remember, you can always lock the tables together and use this machine as a large 6 foot by 12 foot table. Uh, one of the unique benefits of this design is that when you're using the tables independently, you can put two 6 foot wide parts up on each table and be able to machine completely around them because one table is in the forward position while the other table is in the cut. If this was a single table machine and you tried to put two six foot pieces up there, you wouldn't be able to machine in between the two parts. As you can see in this footprint drawing, uh, the spindles, when they're all the way, the spindle, when it's all the way to the left or to the right of the table, you, it goes past the table about 40 inches. So you can machine all five sides of the part on the table. For tool changers, we've talked about tool changers a little bit. The 24 position dual arm tool changer. Uh, come standard on the HM machine. We can even do up to 120 position tool changers. Uh, these tool changers all offer pre-staging, so while one tool is cutting, the tool changer is queuing up the next tool to use a dual arm tool changer for a quick tool change. Uh, probing options, we offer several different probing options. Uh, most popular is the Renishaw RMP60 or RMP600 uh, work probe. We also offer tooling probes such as the TS27R for length and diameter or the radio version of that which is called the RTS. Another popular uh, Renishaw probe that we can use for tooling is uh, the NC4 which uses a laser to measure both length and diameter. Uh, we do actually have some uh, customers that are using this machine as a CMM for part measuring before the part is removed off of the machine. And we do offer a full suite of Renishaw software, including Productivity Plus and Inspection Plus for your needs. For the CNC on the HM series, we use a Fanuc 31i B5 full 5-axis CNC control. One of the great things about Fanuc is they are by far the most widely used CNC in the world. So it's very easy to find skilled operators and technicians to service the equipment. Uh, Fanuc has a 52-year mean time between failure on all their CNC products, and they offer lifetime support for every component within the CNC. So that means that you will never have an obsolete controller with a Fanuc system. Uh, one of the things that we did here at Sierra Android was we developed a very easy-to-use interface that resides on the Fanuc control. Uh, if you if your operator is used to Fanuc. CNC's and they want to use the classic Fanuc operator screens, that's okay. But with a couple clicks of a button, you have the Android interface, and we've had a lot of customers tell us how great that interface is, how easier it is to op, uh, train their operators, and how more productive it can help make their operators be. So you heard us talk a little bit about dual process. I want to dive a little bit deeper into that. Uh, dual process is where we have the twin table, HM series, but we put a second spindle on there. And what that gives you the ability to do is run a program on the left table with the left spindle and an independent program on the right table with the right spindle. Both full five axis capability. You can start and stop each program independently. Uh, they have their own independent tool changers. Those can happen at independent times. So it really is like having two six foot by six foot machines because you have two independent spindles. The other great thing about dual process 
is that it allows you to lock both of those tables together and still use uh, both spindles locked together on one larger part. And also with the dual process, the bridge is extended so that the spindle, one spindle can be parked all the way off to the side and the other spindle can have full table coverage of the entire 6x12 table area. Some coolant options, uh, M, a lot of customers decide to get an MQL system, a minimum quantity of lubricant system for the tool which gives you near dry machining uh, with less cleanup. Also available is high pressure through the tool on some of our spindles. We use a 400 PSI uh, high pressure system. We offer flood coolant. We can use a 350 gallon coolant system. We also offer chip conveyors. So as Ken mentioned in the video, there's seven chip augers that move all the chips forward. You can get an optional chip conveyor to move the chips out of either side of the machine. Some higher accuracy options that we offer are linear scales and rotary angle encoders for the rotary axes. Uh, these are available on all of the axes. And we also offer five axis volumetric compensation. So that's typically done on site after the machine's been assembled. We send out a third party A2LA accredited company and they will do a full volumetric compensation on your machine. So spindles on the HM series, there's quite a few spindles that we offer. We typically will go into a client, discuss what they're wanting to cut with the machine, what materials and what kind of productivity they want, and then we'll tailor the right spindle for that customer's needs. Uh, we have a lot of clients that purchase this machine for trimming composites, carbon fiber, things like that that make a lot of dust, and they want the machine just to have that enclosure to contain the dust. They'll even put a dust collection system uh, integrated in with the enclosure to pull a negative pressure within the enclosure to keep that dust from coming out. Those clients typically are gonna go with a 15 or the 24 horse spindle. Uh, we do have a lot of clients that do cutting of aluminum, heavy cutting of aluminum, and even some steel cutting. And those clients are typically going with the 33 horse, the 50 horse, or even the 75 horsepower spindle options. Rigid tapping is also available on many of the spindle options we have. So traditionally, with a milling machine of this size, you're gonna have a little bit lower RPM capacity than what the HM series offers. This machine, with most of the spindles available, is capable of up to 24,000 RPM. That leads to very high material removal rates. We've seen up to 150 cubic inches per minute of aluminum material removal. Uh, our clients also tell us that the higher RPM offers a better edge finish. They're seeing a cleaner, better edge finish off of the HM series with the 24,000 RPM capable spindle. And all of that uh, high speed milling also allows for faster feed rates. The HM series is capable of up to 3,000 inches per minute of feed rate. You heard me mention that with a high RPM milling, we can remove material at 150 cubic inches per minute. Let's take a look at that now with a video that we produced on the HM series machine. OSYNC, I want to talk a little bit about this machine analytics and monitoring software that we developed here at CR Hundred. This software resides in the controller interface and it constantly monitors the machine health and productivity and reports all of that information back to you. On the productivity side, the software can monitor things like spindle up and down time, uh, part count, keeps track of how long your machine's been in each mode, 
Uh, we have a lot of clients with multiple CR100 machines. They have OSYNC running on each one and they can kind of compare and contrast to see if there's maybe an issue with a machine or a setup or an operator. Uh, you, can control, you can compare the productivity of all of the machines. On the machine health side, OSYNC is constantly monitoring the servo loads, the system voltages and amperages. Uh, it keeps you up to date on any preventative maintenance information. You even have the ability to go into OSYNC and set email or text alerts based on your work schedule. So you've heard us talk a lot about the HM series machine. I would like to share a video with you. This is a client of ours that's had the HM machine for about a year. Their name is Aerospace Fabrications of Georgia. And in the video, they share with you how the machine has helped them be more profitable cutting their aerospace components. Myself, my name is Adam Grizzle. I'm the CEO uh, and owner of Aerospace Fabrications of Georgia here in uh, Dallas, Georgia. We're a company that consists of about 55 employees. We uh, handle everything from three to five axis um, machining, uh, sheet metal manufacturing and fabrication that's forming and so forth, uh, and certainly have a, a fairly capable aluminum heat treat facility. We absolutely fell in love with the hybrid mill as soon as we saw it. One of the more immediate production process improvements that we noticed as soon as we started moving existing product lines over to the Onshrewd hybrid was the ability to take advantage of the range of its articulated head. The angularity that we were able to reach within our part numbers greatly improved our ability to machine a complete product in a single phase or in a single setup rather than actually having multiple production setups. An example is placing pilot holes in standing legs of a lot of our customers' product. In the past, this had always been a manual process, much more time consuming and much less accurate. And so with this new capability, we now have, have basically converted many of our part numbers that we still would be machining on other equipment today over to the Onshrewd simply to be able to save time and improve accuracy for our customers. This being our very first Onshrewd purchase and certainly our very first purchase of an articulating head machine, we've actually been, uh, been able to reduce many of our products machine times by as much as 40% using this machine over equipment that quite frankly I thought that we were already getting uh, a very efficient manufacturing rate. If number one, you have some low to medium uh, manufacturing rate products, you're machining materials such as aluminum, perhaps some other softer alloys with regards to the aerospace industry, that is, that is certainly something that fits quite well. And you're able to combine that, that same articulating head range with such a large work envelope, such as you would see in the aerospace industry, for example, I can't imagine a better fit. If I had found one, perhaps I would have purchased it, but uh, in this case, uh, it's worked out just perfectly for us. We're uh, graciously invited to uh, visit the facility in Troutman where uh, our first machine actually uh, was setting in inventory, but more importantly, we were invited to actually tour the manufacturing process of not only this machine, but similar models to uh, and give us some confidence that we felt that we needed to ensure ourselves that it was built with the quality that we expected. It was a perfect trip. Uh, we made uh, not only some, some good first relationships, I like to hope actually make some, made some friends that day and that uh, would ensure a, a much longer future relationship between our two companies as well. Well, when the hybrid actually first turned on, the fluorescence uh, or the LEDs actually turned on here at, uh, at AFOG, I have to admit it drew quite a crowd from the existing machinists that we have, not to mention it was the largest machine that we had ever had in here. And I can assure you that, uh, that the Onshrewd actually held her own during our first couple of days of demonstrations to our existing future operators for the machine. It wasn't just a couple of days into it, we actually had some folks actually really jockeying for the position of being the first full-time operator for the piece of equipment. And uh, well, at this point, it looks like the only way that uh, some others are gonna get a spot is for us just to go ahead and try to purchase another one. How's it going, everyone? Greg Moores here, Ciaran's Rude Marketing Manager. I uh, just wanted to pop in here and say thank you guys for tuning in. We had a blast putting this presentation together for you. We hope you enjoyed. Uh, and if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, visit our website, ciaran'srude.com. Email us at info at uh, or you can go check out our YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos of both our machinery and our machinery cutting various materials. That's going to be youtube.com slash And again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time. Appreciate it.